Hey guys, Mark here with a, another tutorial video. Today I'm going to try something a bit different. I'm just going to try and create a circular badge type of logo and instead of sort of doing it in advance and then showing you how I did it, I'm actually just going to try and record myself as I make this one up on the fly and see how that goes. So yeah, so uh, I've chosen a pretty generic demo company name. I'm going to go with Bob's Courier Service and the slogan is going to be Service You Can Trust. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, is lay down a circle because it's going to be a circular badge logo after all. Bump up the stroke a little bit like that. And then I am just going to copy and then paste in front which is Control F or I think Command F if you're on a Mac. And then I'm going to hold Alt and Shift and scale that one down so it stays in the exact same place. And there you go. And I think I'll leave that like that for now. Now in the middle of the badge, I'm going to need some kind of logo. Uh, since I'm doing a courier service, I will do something pretty generic for this example. And I'm going to draw an envelope. Okay, so I have a rectangle, then I'm going to press P for the pen tool click in the left corner then in the middle there and then on the right corner there you go now I'll just right click and group that so that they don't separate at all okay now the reason I drew these two circles first is because I actually plan to use them as guidelines so what I'm going to do is just lock them both and now I'm going to draw another circle Actually, rather than doing that, I will make a new layer and I'm going to duplicate these two other circles that I did and put them inside this new layer and then I will lock the existing artwork. So now I've got two copies of these circles. So if I drag these across, you can see the other ones are still there. They're locked and unaffected. So I'm going to use these two circles to actually draw in my, t or type in the text, I should say. So for this one, I'm going to use the font Gotham, Gotham Bold, uh, but you can use whatever you like. And then to type on these circles, I'm just going to hold down my left click on the type tool and then select type on a path. And I'm just going to click on the inside one. And I think what I'm going to do is try and have Bob's courier service over the top half and then service you can trust uh, underneath or something like that. So we'll give that a whirl first. Bob's Courier Service. Um, now you can see it's not, it's, it's sort of not centered. So if I just click up the top here and click center um, and let's put it the other way. So I'll just hold shift and spin that around. Um, I'm gonna crank up the font size a bit. And I realize now that this is not going to work. Yeah, okay. So instead what I'll do, um, I should have picked this up sooner, but what I'm going to do instead is have Bob's Courier Service around the outside, and then I might actually add another row of, of circles in the middle for the uh, for the slogan, or we'll see how that goes. So in that case, uh, if I... I need symmetry, so what I'll do real quick is just type Bob's Courier Service and I'm going to right click and create outlines and I'll just grab the word service Oops. and I'll put that underneath yeah so it's certainly not symmetrical so what we're going to end up with is Bob's and Curio will probably end up coming somewhere down here and then service will be down the bottom in the middle and that's okay I like that idea actually so I'll delete the word service and let's bump up this font size and I'll just bring this away from the edge a bit by holding uh, alt and shift when I scale this so it stays centered it's looking a bit better I'll just keep bumping up the font size all right cool 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 um, it's not quite centered again so I'm gonna hold alt and shift and scale this again but I was actually pretty happy with the size of that type so I'll just click it again and drop the size a bit at least for now anyway it's not perfect but you know it'll, it'll do for now so now I'm going to click on the outside circle because I want to 
get the rest of the type to be inverted, I want it to, to read correctly because if I just typed service on the end of that, it would be upside down down here. So I'll click on the spare circle we had on the outside and do the exact same thing, hold down the type tool, get the type on path tool and then type in service and then if I flip it upside down and then if I just zoom in, you can see there's this line here. I don't know what this is called, sorry, but if I click on that and then drag it up, it will actually invert it inside like that, which is what we want. Um, it's not quite centered. Very good. Alrighty, now I'm going to have to scale this down so it sits level with the other type and we have gaps so I have two choices I guess I can either bump up the, the size of the type or I can just bump up the spacing and I might actually do both so I'm gonna select both of these two circles with text on them I'm gonna hold down alt and then I'm gonna press the right arrow on my keyboard and you can see it's just gonna bump up the spacing just like that and that's a bit close I might just leave it like that for now cool okay it's not looking too bad not too bad so I think I'll hmm I'm actually kinda happy with that as it is but what I would do is I'm gonna unlock this this layer with the original circles I think because this type is so thick it's so heavy these lines look quite thin to me so there's too much of a contrast there I think so what I would probably do is actually try and I'll just lock the type so it's not in my way I'm gonna grab these and the icon and actually bump up the stroke a bit yeah that looks a bit better I think okay so it's getting there we're making progress which is good uh, hmm. so yeah I'll, I'll I think I will experiment with adding another smaller layer of type with the service you can trust in the middle and I'll probably shrink down the icon or something like that we'll see how that goes to be honest if this was for a logo or something I'd be more tempted to actually just work more on the logo and put some more illustration elements in here but we'll see what happens anyway I guess that's the fun of doing it sort of on the fly um, all right so I'm gonna grab these two get these these uh, two circles again and I'll create a new layer I'm gonna copy and then paste in front again with control or command F and I will just scale them down till I meet the one in the middle so that it's still sort of proportionate um, and if anything I'm, I'm doing doesn't make sense I apologize I realize that people have different uh, experience with Illustrator and stuff like that so feel free to just ask in the comments and I'll, I'll do what I can to uh, try and help you out so I'll bring this down a bit now I'm not sure how much space I want to have between this and the other type because I could shrink it down even further and have a space even it's gonna get pretty hectic though it's already looking pretty crazy so we'll see how this goes for now so uh, I've got my two new circles and now again I'm gonna duplicate those so control C control F and I will click on the middle one here and exact same thing as before click the type on path tool uh, and actually before I do that I'm getting ahead of myself here I should do the same thing as before and look at this type to see how symmetrical it, it is. So if I just ungroup that and grab contrast. Yeah, so it'll be sort of similar. It'll all come a bit further down the service and you will come further down than uh, can trust will be on the underside, which is fine. So I'll grab that type tool again and type in service U. And obviously I'll have to drop the font size down a fair bit flip it back up the other way and then I'm going to hold alt and shift again to scale this out a bit so that it's not right on the line there and 
that's not looking too bad. Now, I would ideally I would probably want this type um, to come further down because can trust is even shorter, so it's only going to fill up this section here. But I can't really make it any bigger because then it's going to cramp on the line. So I would be more likely to just bump up the spacing again and see how that looks. It's a bit awkward at the moment, if I'm honest, but um, it's not too bad. What I could do is even grab the uh, outline circle and even bring that in closer if I wanted to. And that way I could bring this closer again, but then bump up the, the font size like that. That might be better actually. And then scale it back up again. I like to always zoom out on my work as well and just kind of check it out and see how it's looking. It's looking pretty crowded, I think, but um, I think part of that's due to this icon in the middle, so I'll have to look at that a bit later on. Yeah, it's looking pretty crowded. Um, Yeah, so I'm just kind of playing around with it at the moment. I might even bring that out altogether for now. Hmm. Hmm. Right, well, let's go ahead and add in the other type and just see where we're at and see how it looks. So I need the word can trust this time. I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and just click on the service and use so I can match the exact same font size and spacing. Then I'll do the same thing as before. I'll just grab this little uh, line in the middle here, flip it inside like that. And now you can see that these, oh, I got rid of one of my circles by accident. Oh, well. Sorry about that. That's a bit of a, a bit embarrassing, but um, put that one back in. So now I need to try and line up this extra type to the service you can trust type. And as I scale that down, it's shrinking it. So I need to remember that I'm going to have to use the eyedropper and bump the font size back up again. And if I use this circle here as a bit of a guide, you can see that it's inside the type, so they're not lined up. So I'm going to have to scale it out a bit further use the eyedropper again to shrink that font size back down and they're overlapping so I'm going to click on both of them now and like I did before when I increase the spacing I'm just going to do the complete opposite now so I'm going to hold down alt and click the left arrow and it's going to bring all the letters a little closer together like that which is not too bad um, hmm So I'm going to click on the type that's around the outside and this inner circle here if I can. And I'll just right click and group those so that when I scale them they're all together. And I'll just drag it away to make sure I got it all. I did. Okay. Now I'm going to highlight everything and then I'm going to hold shift and click on the courier service part and it's going to unselect that other group I just made and I'll right click and group all of these as well so that they're all together. So as I scale these different parts, I can scale up up the courier service by itself and I can scale it all the way down if I want to. Hmm. Maybe the strokes that I added are actually a bit too heavy now, so. I'm going to just delete this text and get it out of the way. Keep my icon handy over here. And I'm going to scale it up and see if that's a little bit more balanced. Hmm. It's not too bad. I think I'm a bit happier with it now that I've actually scaled it out. The lines are a bit, a bit thinner. Uh, If I was doing this for a client, I would probably spend a bit longer trying to come up with a, a better icon than than this. Uh, but for now, I'll just chuck it in there. It does the job. 
gives you the example. I'll probably make a different tutorial about drawing icons and stuff anyway. Um, yeah, it kind of has to stay at that shape, doesn't it? Yeah, I would probably add some more stuff around this this icon if I'm honest. Um, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad for, for a demo anyway. So I'm going to highlight everything and just center it real quick. That way I know my icon's right in the middle. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So uh, I'm going to make a second artboard because I'm sort of happy with this, but I'm going to make another copy now and play with the colors a bit more. So I'm going to click the artboard tool, which is also shift and O. And then I'm going to hold down alt and click on this artboard here and hold shift and then drag it across and it's going to duplicate the entire workspace basically that I've got there. So now I can work on this and I do this a lot by the way whenever I'm coming up with ideas if I have a draft idea and I'm like I want to take this further but I kind of like where it's at and I'm not sure I'll just make a copy of it like that and then I can always come back to it and go down a different direction if I have to. So for this one uh, I'm going to basically invert the colors. So I want to see how it looks when it's a black background and I do the design in white, or I could even do sort of like a black patch and have the all of the type and everything in white, which could look pretty cool. So I'm going to isolate... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll grab the type first, I guess. And actually, no, you know what? That's not the fastest way. Don't copy me. I'm bad. I'm going to make another circle and make it black and I'm going to right click it hit arrange and then center back and it will get shifted to the bottom bottom layer in fact I'm going to make a new layer back here and just chuck it in there instead cool um, I'm going to lock that layer so nothing no matter what I select I'm not touching that black circle that's there so now when I click on this type, I can set it to be white and I'll click on that type, make it white and that circle, make that one white and if I can, it's always annoying trying to select these inside circles, I'll just unselect that type. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of cool like that. I like that. Same thing now. Uh, by the way, what I'm doing here, if you're not sure, is uh, because I grouped those those layers before, what I can do is, even though they're grouped, I can double click on the group. In fact, it's probably easier if I show you on the white one. I can still see how they're all, they're all grouped together. I can double click on it and it will actually isolate that group so I can still select the individual elements. And then when I'm done, I can just double click anywhere else and it will take me back out to the normal view. So I'm gonna double click on these uh, inside circles now get my type, give it a white fill, uh, oops I should have done the circles while I was there, set that to white, that's kind of cool, Let's see if I can get that logo, little icon, and make that white as well, so there you go, now I have the two, two different color options. Um, if I unlock that black circle at the back and I'll just lock everything else real quick so I can easily select it I could even bump up the stroke on that and make the black a bit thicker like that which is cool it kinda looks like a patch which I like um, I'm gonna lock that again and unlock everything else and yeah I'm actually pretty happy with that so I would probably spend a bit more time fiddling with this, getting all the alignments and stuff perfect, but you know, you don't really need to see me sitting here fiddling for half an hour to line it all up. Um, but yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea of working with type in circles. I guess that was the main the main goal was to kind of show you the different um, using the type on path tool pretty much. And if you're interested in working with shapes and different illustrations and stuff like that, let me know because I'll, I'll try and make a few tutorials about the pen tool and how I draw icons and illustrations and stuff in my work as well so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this by all means um i again i apologize if i was too quick over anything it's i'm still fairly new to this and i know people are, have totally different experience levels so if i if I, I rushed over something too quick don't be afraid to let me know in the comments and uh you know ask ask away and i'll do whatever i can to help thanks a lot guys have a good one